structure analysis and drawing quick bending moment diagram can be a bit tricky and it can be really helpful to resolve a difficult problem if you have the basic strategies to follow when we get to the bending moment diagram is just look at the behavior and get the deflected shift that is the most common strategy that is followed so let's take an example of this particular simply supported beam having a point load at the mid span based on the deflected shape one can guess that it will have it would be having zero moment at the support since these are pin support and it will be having most of like a maximum moment at the mid span so the bending moment diagram will look something like this if we now try to introduce some fixity at these support at these supports and try to make this particular problem a bit complicated what it will do that the entire curve of this bending of this particular beam that we are having will be actually shifted up and you will have something of this sort of a uh, bending moment diagram and the same is prevalent from the deflected shape as well and now the moment that you are having at the supports will be transferred to the columns below and as the columns are fixed at the bottom the sign of the bending moment will be reversed and it will be taken to the supports in the other direction similarly for this column you will have the bending moment over here and will be reversed to tell the support so this is how typically up for a particular bending moment diagram looks like now let's take this example where you are having the same same scenario the only difference that we have in this case is that rather than having a uh, fixity at the base we have pin support at the base still the fixity at the beam column junction is maintained so the fixity at the beam column junction will help us to actually get the moment at the corners and you can get the bending moment as this for this particular beam which is quite similar than this maybe with a lesser stiffness but now as this particular moment as it, it tries to go through the column it will eventually reduce to a zero value rather than going to a negative value or an other direction value because we don't have a fixity in this place similarly for this particular column but now let's take the third example where we are basically having another case where we are having one support as pinned purely pinned and other support in in roller uh, as most of you go with this an example we'll try to have this example as since it is it is not having any possibility to take any moment and this is also having a roller support there is no possibility to have any horizontal reaction most of us will draw this particular bending moment diagram as this where having a fixity over here and something like this but this essentially is wrong why is it wrong because uh, although we have drawn that this particular uh, support can take this moment but actually it cannot because there is no possibility to having a horizontal reaction here as well why so because uh, there is no external horizontal reaction so to counter this horizontal reaction there has to be a reaction from other side so there the next strategy which is helpful and comes into play that you need to also work out the support reactions and their signs if you work out the support reactions and sign you will reach to correct value so the correct bending moment diagram for this case will be only it will be a purely simply supported uh, sort of a beam and for the columns there won't be any moment why so because there is no possibility to have any horizontal reaction from the base from either of the supports because this support cannot take any horizontal reaction and since this cannot take any horizontal reaction there cannot be overall horizontal force coming onto the structure because there is no horizontal external force as well so that's why for a vertical load this will be like this not this so the one that we drew is wrong so the two quick uh, things that you need to follow you need to follow the bending moment diagram based on the deflected shape and its behavior and the, uh, the next one is to work out the uh, sign, uh, sign and the reaction support that you are having hope this was helpful uh, like and subscribe for more